Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about universal motor. Universal motor is a type of electric motor that can be operated on either AC or DC. That means it can be operated on both supplies AC or DC. The motors which can be used with a single phase AC source as well as DC source of supply and voltages are called universal motor. It is also known as single phase series motor. A universal motor is a commutation type motor. You can see the commutation winding is connected in series with main field winding as shown in figure above. If the polarity of the line terminals of a DC series motor is reversed, the motor will continue to run in the same direction. Hence, the universal motor you can connect any polarity. Phase neutral, can you, if you reverse the, the direction will be same. What is the difference between DC motor versus universal motor? The DC motor works only with DC supply whereas universal motor works with both AC and DC supply. The construction of universal motor you can see here commutator, brushes, fan and motor shaft, motor main field winding, armature winding all will be similar to DC series motor. Why it is called universal motor? Because of uh, both AC and DC it can applicable. However, a series motor which is mainly designed for DC operation if works on single phase AC supply it will be suffered from the following drawbacks. The efficiency becomes low because of hysteresis and eddy current losses in the universal motor. That means efficiency will decrease if you use universal motor for AC. Second point is power factor is low due to the large reactance of the field and armature windings. Hence the sparking at the brushes will be increases if you use the universal motor for AC supply. This is the second drawback in the universal motor due to use of AC supply. As the universal motor both the windings main field winding, armature winding and compensating winding, three field windings are having large reactants hence the power factor will be low that means very poor power factor will be there in universal motor the sparking addresses will be excess due to this power factor nowadays also we are using universal motor in so many appliances but the sparking will be more when you use AC supply for universal motor if you use DC supply less sparking will appear at the brushes because of the reactance will be low in DC. In order to overcome the drawbacks which are discussed previously, the DC series motor that can work even on AC current by the following modifications. The field core is made up of material having low hysteresis losses. It is laminated to reduce eddy current losses. The second modification that will be done in universal motor is the area of field pole is increased to reduce the flux density. As a result, the iron losses and the reactive voltage drops will be reduced. To get the required torque, the number of conductors in the armature is increased in the universal motor to obtain the required torque because starting torque is more for universal motor. Therefore, the conductors has to be increased in the armature. Compensating winding is used for reducing the effect of armature reaction and improving the commutation process. In case of DC motors also we are using compensating winding to reduce the armature reaction. The winding is placed in stator slots as shown in figure above. The construction and operation of universal motor is similar to DC series motor. A series field winding and armature both are connected in series and extra compensating winding to reduce armature reaction in DC series motor. But as a DC series motor used for only DC but it can be used for both AC and DC. The applications of universal motor is not similar to the DC series motor. DC series motor application if you see traction, hoists and lifts, cranes, rolling mills, conveyors etc. But coming to applications of universal motor using in portable drilling machines used in hay dryers, grinders and table fans, universal motor is also used in blowers, 
polishers and kitchen appliances. Of course, the drilling machine is connected to AC supply. It is not a AC motor, but it is a universal motor because you can observe the sparking while drilling on the walls. I hope you understand the universal motor. What is the difference between DC and universal motor? Now let us discuss the quiz questions on universal motor regarding. Coming to the first question, which of the following applications make use of universal motor? A portable tools, B lathe machines, C oil expeller, D floor polishing machine. Among all these which we are using, portable tools is the answer because lathe machines we are not using universal motor oil expeller and floor polishing machines we are not using universal motor second question is a universal motor is one which a is available universally b can be marketed internationally c can be operated either on dc or ac supply d runs at a dangerously high speed on no load what is the answer is it can be operated either on dc or ac supply Third question is speed of the universal motor is dependent on frequency of supply B is proportional to frequency of supply independent of frequency of supply none of the above the answer is dependent on frequency of supply the fourth question is which motor is relatively free from mechanical and magnetic vibrations a shaded pearl motor B universal motor C reluctance motor D hysteresis motor Universal motor also have more mechanical vibrations, hence the answer is hysteresis motor. The next question is, a universal motor runs at a higher speed with DC supply with less sparking, b higher speed with AC supply with less sparking, c same speed with both AC and DC, d higher speed with AC supply with high sparking at brushes. The answer is higher speed with DC supply with less sparking because with DC the sparking will be low. Now the question is for you. Due to high starting torque and high speed makes the universal motor useful for which of the following appliances? A is electric blender, B is vacuum cleaner and C is hair dryer and D option is all. All of the above. Which of the following is answer is correct? Comment below the video and like the video, share the video. If you like, please subscribe and press bell icon. Thank you. Please make a comment on comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and press bell icon. And finally like the video and support us. Thank you everybody.